What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today the trailer for the next Need for Speed has finally come out. However, it is not what everybody expected it to be. It was rumored in early 2019 that the next Need for Speed was going to be Need for Speed Underground 3, which would have been a huge throwback to the early days of Need for Speed and a huge nostalgia for me. However, that is just not going to happen because the next Need for Speed video game is going to be Need for Speed Heat. With the little information that I have on the video game, it is going to be held in Miami, Florida, which is why it's being called Called Need for Speed Heat, so I'm very interested to see what is going to happen and what the game is about. I have yet to watch this game trailer, so let's check it out and see how this year's Need for Speed is going to be. Let's get right into this. Okay, so right off the bat you hear the police, so hopefully this year's police is very more advanced than it was in the last game. The last game, the police only came out during the races. Hopefully, they're in the hub, uh, in the city more. Whenever you're driving around, they can be more involved nice with you that way. But I'm gonna like they were in Need for Speed 2015 right and before. I said right now! By this, it looks like the past few years, how it's very story-driven and very cinematic. I'm a huge fan of that. Looks like there's a lot of street racing, which I'm glad they're bringing that back. Not that they never got away from it, but... It was very weird over the past few years. Okay, this kind of looks like a throwback to Need for Speed Pro Street in a way. Closed circuits, closed courses, which I used to like that. I like Pro Street, but hopefully they do a combination of what it looks like they are. Street racing and closed circuits, so that's going to be very interesting to see if they can pull off and how they're going to pull it off. A lot of street racing, which is cool. That looks, that looks really cool. The police, yeah, it's right there. It looks like the police are going to be full force, which I hope it is. That's what I like is when the police are act actually acting like the police. They destroy, so we design. Nice. They control. It looks like they're bringing a lot of customization back to the game. Not that they really got away from it, but Need for Speed Payback is very minimal customization options you can do. Need for Speed 2015, however, you can do a whole hell of a lot to your vehicles. Need for Speed Payback, not so much. There's only a few customizations for each option, so hopefully they improved that. That looks phenomenal. Looks like Need for Speed Heat is going to be really good this year. Okay, so that was the trailer for Need for Speed Heat. Honestly, I'm really excited for this year's Need for Speed. That looked phenomenal, and it looks like they really stepped it up after Need for Speed Payback, which, honestly, no offense to Need for Speed Payback, but I honestly never really liked that game. I never even beat it, never really got into it. It was just really cheesy some of the stuff i didn't enjoy a lot of the gameplay and what you had to do you had to do a specific thing with specific cars it just made no sense to do drag racing with a high-end luxury car i just didn't enjoy that i would rather fully tune out a 70s muscle car for drag racing than to have to purchase a very expensive vehicle just to get past certain points on top of that, Need for Speed Payback didn't have that much customization options compared to 2015's Need for Speed. So, by the look of this trailer, it looks like they improved on everything that Need for Speed Payback kind of lacked. It looks like they're bringing back police where they did have police in Need for Speed Payback. However, they only came out during races and during cinematic scenes where police were involved and where you were pretty much breaking the law. But during the drive in the city, you would never see any police, whether or not you're speeding, drifting around corners, through intersections and stuff like that. You never really seen any police. And on top of that, whenever police would put out the spike strips, your tires would pop, and then a couple seconds later, they would automatically regenerate. So it was kind of cheesy, some of the stuff they did in Payback, but it looks like they have fixed that at least with the police. On top of that, it looks like they're doing a combination this year of street racing and also closed circuit racing, which I think is going to be very interesting. A throwback for Need for Speed Payback. A throwback for Need for Speed. 
a throwback to Need for Speed Pro Street, which I did like, a lot of people didn't, but the fact they're gonna be, looks like they're gonna be combining the two, street racing and closed circuit racing, into the video game, I think that's gonna be very interesting right there. I didn't like in Need for Speed Payback the off-road racing aspect, because to me, they just didn't bring enough off-road vehicles into the mix, and some of the vehicles, whenever you went into the dealership for off-road, some of the vehicles that you could purchase for off-road racing, to me, should not have been an option to purchase for off-road racing. They just didn't fit that category, but you could still purchase them and use them for off-road events. So I did like that they brought out for Need for Speed Payback the off-road racing. I just didn't think they did it the right way and they didn't capitalize on what they could have. They didn't have that many trucks in the game. So the fact that they're bringing out just street racing like they always do, but also closed circuit once again, I think it's going to be very interesting mix right there. And also on top of that, it looks like this year is going to have a lot of customization options, which I'm really excited for because Need for Speed 2015 had a lot of stuff you could do to your vehicles, a lot of stuff that you could customize to them, but once again, Need for Speed Payback lacked in that category. There was only a couple options for everything, considering bumpers and side skirts and rims. There was only a couple options for each category that you could go and put on your vehicle. So you couldn't really have that much of a unique vehicle to begin with, but this year, According to this video, according to this trailer, it looks like they're going to have a lot more customization options than they did in the last game. So I'm really excited to see where they go with this and how the game is. The fact that it's in Miami, Florida, I think is very impressive and it's going to be very interesting to see what they do because that is going to be awesome to see what kind of street racing we have in this year's game. Hopefully it is going to be good. According to this video, after watching it, it looks like it's going to be amazing. If I had to rate just this trailer without playing the game yet, I would honestly rate it 8 out of 10. But I think, according to this trailer, by the time I start playing this game, which I can't wait to get it, I'm definitely getting this year's Need for Speed, I think it might be a 10 out of 10 for me. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Very nostalgic in some aspects with customization, street racing, the closed circuit. And hopefully they continue with the uh, drifting, because drifting came back in Need for Speed 2015. It continued in Need for Speed Payback, which I just didn't enjoy it in that game because you had to purchase a specific car to drift in. But hopefully they've returned it in Need for Speed Miami, because one of my favorite things to do in Need for Speed games is to drift. So hopefully they brought back drifting events. But this looks like it's going to be phenomenal. I'm definitely going to be getting this game. Comment down below if you're excited for this year's Need for Speed. And I am going to leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.